Massachusetts in Amherst. It's time for Green Wave Hockey. Tonight, the Green Wave takes on the Belchertown Orioles in a right division matchup. I'm the Franklin County Skate Doctor, Lou Bordeaux, and we'll have the opening faceoff in just a moment. Support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And welcome back to Green Wave Hockey. We're here today on Frontier Community Access Television, FCAT Sports. Awaiting the opening draw. Going to be a big matchup today between the Belchertown Orioles and our Green Wave. Starting lineup. Forwards for the Green Wave, Evan Simmons. 
Brian Bauman. Doug Hineski are the forward line. On defense, the Jordan brothers, the twins, Bryce and Alec. And between the pipes, Riley Drew. Green Wave coming off a, a tough, tough loss Wednesday night in Fitchburg at the hand of the Fitchburg Cardinals. Uh, the final score there was 8-5. to five. Fitchburg, a very, very, very tough team. As we get ready for the opening face-off today here at the Mullen Center practice rink. If any of you watching at home have been here before, you know it's one of the more comfortable rinks around throughout Western Massachusetts and Western New England. As I said, this is a right division matchup. And within the division, Green Wave are 3 0 and 1. Belchertown brings a divisional record of 2 and 2 into this contest. Overall, Green Wave sporting a 9 4 and 1 mark. Well, Belchertown, always pesky though, in a 3 3 and 4. Orioles always, always manage to field a competitive squad, and I don't expect it's going to be any different today with sophomore Ethan Reipold in goal, opposing Riley Drew. Game officials just checking out the goals, checking in over at the timer's table. Not sure what the delay is at this moment, but I think we're getting ready for some Green Wave hockey here on FCAT Sports. I'm the skate doctor, Lou Bordeaux, at ringside. Here we go. Jump right. Jump right. Belchertown wins the draw. And Riley Drew turns that first one away. Little body contact in the corner. Bryce Jordan taking the body. Delayed offside signal. Green wave clear the zone. Buck comes this way. Simmons with the four check. There goes Von Gillen for the Orioles. Ison waved off on the play. Bombing up to Simmons. Simmons breaking down. Oh. Lost an edge, play goes into the corner. Belchertown coming back the other way. Clearing attempt by Vaughn Gillen goes high. Freshman Jacob Bryant moves the puck deep into the Belchertown zone. Bryant checking his twig. Clearing the zone, going to be a delayed offside, but Greenway clear the zone. Play is back down behind the Belchertown cage. Saw some pesky four checking there by Mason Whiteman. And ruling was play, play is stopped because he was batted with a high stick. All season long, the Green Wave has been very sturdy on defense. Got a nice and call there against Belchertown. The Green Wave defense has been equal to the task all season long. Their opponents have gotten off a reasonable amount of shots, but not necessarily a lot of high score, high percentage scoring opportunities against the Green Wave.
Brian Bauman wins the draw. Shots deflected from the point. Matt Pacheco with the puck for Belchertown. Juggles it. And referees rule that it hit one of the Belchertown players who was leaning over the dash of boards. Faceoff's going to be back in the Belchertown zone. 12.46 remaining here in the opening stands. A scoreless game so far. Kind of a stalemate for the draw there. Dukaneski. The puck out to Bauman. Oh! Rypold flashing pad. I don't think he saw that one until the very last moment. Of course, that's the, the opportunistic offense put forth by our Green Wave. Belchertown moving out through the neutral zone. They dump it in. Little dump and chase. Little, little body contact along the half wall. Seems to be a little bit of a feeling out process here in the opening minutes of this one. Neither side really looking to take any big chances at the outset. Jacob Bryant with a blast from the center line. Turned aside by Rypold. We're juggling in the Belchertown zone. Francis Nigro losing putt control to the Green Wave. See Wozniak out on the play here, number nine for the Green Wave. Only female on our team this year, and she's done a heck of a job. She's got 11 points on the season so far. Cassie with five goals, six assists on the season. Von Gillen goes high over the cage. Coming back this way. Simmons in alone. Just couldn't get the handle on it. This is a potent first line for the Green Wave. Simmons with Doug Hineski, Brian Bauman. And we are going to have an icing call. Face off back into the Belchertown zone. And take the draw here. Another stalemate. Sides appear to be evenly matched so far. Another battle along the half wall. Jacob Bryant rifles one in. Mason Whiteman taking the body behind the play. So then puck comes this way. Big collision right in front of us. Wave on the change. Mason Whiteman in there being pesky with the puck. We 
loose puck just inside the blue line. Comes back this way. It's A.J. Velez for Belchertown. Cassie Wozniak intercepts, takes it deep. Over to Cam Barnes. Back up to Wozniak. Over the blue line. Put on the brakes, delayed offside. And we've got another icing call. 8.26 remaining in the first period. Score 0-0. Zero zero. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. We'll be back in just a moment. center practice rink in Amherst. Evan Simmons with a breakout. Oh, he's in! Oh! Just couldn't get the handle on that one. Got the play whistle for the time being. Face off deep in the Belchertown zone. We got a penalty against Belchertown. Nathan Ayers whistled off. And wave on the power play. Puck comes back to the neutral zone. There's Mike McGoldrick. And that penalty on Nathan Ayers of Belchertown was for the hook. Green Wave a little disorganized here at the outset of this power play. Bauman with a nice cross ice feed. Leipold with the save. Jacob Bryant shooting through a maze. Belchertown moving the puck out. That's Cody Lambert. Ooh, had a good short side attempt going. He went high though. Play broken up at center ice by Christopher Buffon of the Orioles. Play goes deep. Green wave with a change on the power play. Just under a minute to go in the penalty to Nathan Ayers of the Orioles. Mason Whiteman with a puck. Dishes back to Cassie Wozniak. Pass a little bit behind her, moves in. Whiteman with a nice centering attempt, but there's nobody home. And we got a whistle here. Looks like Jacob Bryant got the mitts up a little bit on that one. 31 seconds remain on the Belchertown penalty, and it looks like they're taking two off here. Sure, that penalty on Belchertown was for the retaliation. Six twenty-one remaining in the first period. Scoreless tie. Well, the officials are sorting this one out. We'd like to thank our friends at Frontier Community Access Television. A lot of the Frontier students take part in Green Wave hockey, so it's good to be here with them today. Referee still in conference over there on the far side. Maybe trying to decide where this faceoff is, although the initial penalty was going to be on Jacob Bryant over in the neutral zone. Retaliation, and referees decide it's going to be down to the left of goaltender Riley Drew. Riley with a couple of saves so far on the day. Town wins the draw. Wozniak. Very effective through the neutral zone. Play comes back this way.
Drew steers the puck into the corner. Little dangle there by Von Gillen. Von leads the Orioles in scoring with 19 points on the season so far. First penalty's done. We're back to full strength now. And a clearing attempt by Cam Barnes lands in the Belchertown bench. Called both those penalties for interference. Referees once again trying to get uh, get everything situated. Two players in the sin bin. Uh, Jordan with a clearing attempt. Kevin Simmons feet were in the zone there. Offside, we got 524 remaining in the first stanza. Here at the Mullen Center practice rink on the campus of the University of Amherst, University of Massachusetts in Amherst. And another one goes into the Belchertown bench. Might be time for the coaching staff to don some protective gear over there. Pucks on the bench happen a lot more often than you think, ladies and gentlemen. Simmons chasing that loose biscuit. A couple of great neutral zone battles there. Finally, it looks like Doug Haneski. Gets possession, moves it up into the into the belt down offensive zone. Cody Lambert left the puck behind for the Orioles. Oh, save out of nowhere! And this is where you're going to see the Green Wave, very opportunistic first line. And Barnes with the puck, centers over to Haneski, just out of the reach. Mikey McGoldrick, who was pinched in deep there. No, excuse me. That was Brian Bauman in deep. Nathan Ayers with the breakout. And dumps it down deep. Mason Whiteman with a touch. Sergio pinching in deep that time. Puck loose down behind the goal line. Mason Whiteman in there. Putting that big body in the way. Length of the ice, but no icing on that one. Could have been played in the neutral zone. Oh. A couple of Christophers there. Chris Urgell and Chris Buffone of Belchertown. Nice open ice hit. Here comes Whiteman. He's in by himself. Little deep. Puck was turned aside by goalie Ethan Reipold of the Orioles. Belcher turn, Belchertown trying to make some music here. It was a two on three turned into a two on four. You never like those odds. Puck up the half wall. Yeah. 
Bessie Wozniak tried to get over to Ethan LaFleur. Once again, the Orioles got in the way. Sean O'Sullivan. Went offside there. Chris Buffone deep, deep in the Greenfield zone. Andrew Mugford. His attempt goes wide. And a delayed penalty. He'll be on, green, on the greenway for a trip. Sometimes your stick just gets in the way. Oh, excuse me. That was Belchertown. Chris Buffon going in for the trip. Down to a minute 46 remaining in the opening period. Scoreless tie. Looks like the Green Wave getting their legs under him after a tough game in Fitchburg last night. Tough day hitting the books today. Good puck movement along the blue line and in deep. Oh, point shot deflected. Matt Pacheco of Belchertown moves in, looking for a shorty. He's not going to get it, though. Coming back this way. Brian Bauman. Oh, puck was on edge for Simmons. Just couldn't connect that one. Pretty pass, though, from Bauman. Simmons back in deep. Vineski to the point. Over here to Jacob Bryant. Wow. What a beautiful setup that was. Ethan Reipold equal to the task. Not that time though, we've got a goal. Green Wave with the power play goal late in the first period, take a 1-0 lead. Going to give that one to Brian Bauman. Just a lethal power play. Other than that one deflection that came back through the neutral zone, Belchertown was on their heels for that entire power play. Green Wave looking strong on that one. Green Wave take the 1 0 lead. About 38 seconds remaining here in the opening period. Drew turning the puck into the corner. Simmons with the follow up, looking for one more. Right pole ties it up with 17.9 seconds to go. Green Wave lead 1 to nothing. Belchertown really needs to be ready here. Only 17.9 seconds remaining, but Greenway didn't make a line change after that power play goal. Biggs and a goal! Another score! Two big goals. In the last 38 seconds of the first period. That first line, my goodness. As I said a moment ago, Belchertown had to be careful and they just couldn't get the puck out of their own zone. Two big, big green wave goals. Stake the wave to a two nothing lead. And it looks like that's, they're not done yet. And there's the buzzer. After, after a pretty tough first 14 minutes of that period, Brian Bauman and Evan Simmons connect in the last 38 seconds, giving the Green Wave a 2-0 lead. 
Shots on goal after the first period. Green Wave seven, Belchertown two. We're gonna take a two minute break here. And while we do, I'll remind you, you're watching Green Wave Hockey on Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be back in a moment here on FCAT Sports. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And welcome back to Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. We're at the Mullen Center practice rink today. Skate Dr. Lou Bordeaux here at rinkside. Green Wave leading 2-0 after one period of play. And it was all Simmons, Bauman, Hineski line in the last minute of play in the first period. And they're right back out there again. A little two-minute breather, and they're back at it. Um, circling. Up to Hineski, over to Simmons. We've seen this one before. That line just applies the pressure. That line applies the pressure, and it is just tough for the other side. Nate Pacheco trying to convert through the neutral zone. Alec Jordan laying the law down. Seems like Belchertown really can't get their legs underneath them. They are just, ooh, high stick there. No call. Wow, that was two hands right to the face. My goodness. Same player. Same player takes a cheap shot at Evan Simmons. Matt Pacheco for Belchertown. He's got to calm down out there. A little decaf, maybe. He's got to put those Red Bulls away. Belchertown in full defensive mode here. Green Wave are warmed up, and they're just all over the Orioles here. Orioles look like they're starting to get a little frustrated, too. Sticks are up. Elbows are up. It's very wide. Mason Whiteman down the left wing. Dumps in as we get a line change. It's about the only time Belchertown's moving the puck out of his head. Sean O'Sullivan. Ethan LaFleur moves it in deep. Cassie Wozniak behind the cage. Buck battle, three Orioles trying to make that play. Somebody stick though, that's Ethan LaFleur stick went flying on that one. I don't know if there's a flex rating or a degree of difficulty rating on that, but he's got his twig back in his hands. along the half wall. Wozniak in pursuit. The floor over on the other side. Like buzzing bumblebees they are. Nice open ice hit there. Cam Barnes, sturdy player on both sides of the puck. 
Francis Nigro for Belchertown goes deep. Drew knocks the puck out. And loose puck in the neutral zone. LaFleur gives chase. He's going to go to the bench, though. Ken Barnes again around the backboards. Again, Bauman, Simmons, and Hineski back on the ice. Looking to work their own brand of magic here. Already lit the lamp twice so far in this one. There goes Bauman again. Dishes to Doug. Can't quite get a handle on it. And goes deep. Simmons all alone out front of that cage. Puck comes back this way. Bryce Jordan dumps it in. Going to give the Orioles an opportunity to push the reset button, start over. Vineski back to Alec Jordan, back over to Bryce Jordan. Gives the puck back up. Belchertown dumps the puck in. Really been their only offensive opportunity is to play the dump and chase game. Oh, nice pass off the wall for Simmons. Nobody there to connect, though. Vineski with some tenacious forechecking. Oh, and there's a goal! Bryce Jordan had the puck at the point. Just let a little wrist shot go. And that's why, kids, if you're watching at home, pucks to the net. Bryce Jordan just sent that one in. Paneski had his stick on the ice and made the magic happen. It's 3-0 Green Wave. That's Doug Paneski's second goal of the day. Sullivan cycles wide. Turned aside by Ethan Reipold. Matt Pacheco. Finds Vaughn Gillen. And over the blue line. Gillen dishes back, but to no avail. Greenfield's D has just absolutely been stellar. Limiting the Orioles to just three shots so far in this hockey game. Cassie Wozniak deflected high, goes off the netting, and we're going to have a face off. Deep in Belchertown territory. Just a reminder for some upcoming Green Wave hockey action. Green Wave are home Saturday, February 3rd at 5.30 at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield when they take on East Hampton. East Hampton currently first place in the division. You don't want to miss that one. Jacob Bryan with a beautiful wrist shot. Just missed the cage. Deep in the Belchertown zone. Orioles just having a tough time moving that puck today. Once again, back deep in their zone. Number seven for the Green Wave, Chris Urgell. Nice glove save. Ethan Reipold. He's a sophomore, so he's going to be in these Belchertown Green Wave games for a couple more years to come. Got 8.21 remaining in the second period. Scores 3 0 in favor of the Green Wave. The visiting Green Wave. Been a great season so far. We're looking to more Green Wave hockey. And let's not forget, one more point in the standings clinches them a playoff berth. Of course, we're hoping they can do it here today. Be nice to take two points. Again, Bryce Jordan with that same kind of move. Just a nice lob in from the point. Didn't work this time, but like I said, 
Kids, if you're watching at home, pucks to the net. You never know what's going to happen. Nate Pacheco for Belchertown crosses the blue line, plays on side. There's Doug Hineski. It's like a puck magnet out there. Bauman over to Hineski. Foil. Right in the high slot. Nice defensive play by Nathan Ayers of Belchertown. Bryce Jordan with the puck. Back up to Bauman. Dumps it in. Green Wave making a change on the fly. Belchertown recalibrating. And that's, uh, that's one of those plays that uh, wasn't really a high percentage scoring chance. Riley's going to tie up the puck there. And shot by Nate Pacheco from the high slot. Wasn't a soul in front of him. Riley had a good, good view of it. And that's all you can ask your goaltender to do. You make that first save. Keep your line of sight open. And last year's Rookie of the Year, Riley Drew, makes everything happen after that. Green Wave win the draw. Cam Barnes all the way around. Here comes Sean O'Sullivan, two on one with Cassie Wozniak. Plays on side. Big save by Reipold. Flash the leather on that one. Barnes back up. Wozniak to O'Sullivan. Plays blocked. Reipold ties it up. An important takeaway for the Green Wave is their quickness. Coach Bouchard has had them working hard all season long. And I've had the opportunity to see more than one no puck practice this season. And that gets those legs burning, ladies and gentlemen. Bauman wins the draw. Back to Haneski. Right into Ethan Reipold's chest protector. The chesty with the save. 6.28 remaining in the second period. 3-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Officials trying to get Belcher time to line up here. Brian Bauman directing traffic. Wins the draw. And Simmons got his stick on the puck, just went wide. To the point, another deflection. Bryce Jordan with the puck. Those Jordan twins, a couple of sturdy defenders. Riley Drew turns that long 80 footer into the corner. Bauman left that one behind. Little, little neutral zone contact. Vineski looking for the Hattie. Jordan goes in deep. Pinches the play. Simmons over there now. The Orioles with a really weak clearing attempt. Turned into a shot on goal. Jacob Bryant turns on the retro rockets. Here goes Ethan LaFleur. A lot of open ice there. Once again, Reipold with the save. What you're seeing here, Green Wave getting some really deep penetration, deep into the Belchertown zone. Reipold's got to be on his game at all times in this one. 5.09 remaining. Big blast from the point by Mikey McGoldrick. Once again, right pole ties it up. They are leaving him no choice at all. He'll take face-offs all afternoon long. Here. Once again, the Green Wave are back in action at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Saturday night, February 3rd at 5.30.
battle for first place against East Hampton. You don't want to miss that one. Into the high slot. LaFleur with his own version of a spin rooney there. O'Sullivan back over to Jacob Bryant. Bryant rifles one. Goldrick keeps it in. Puck temporarily intercepted by Belchertown. And when it's three guys in black sweaters against one guy in a white sweater, you know how that's going to work out. And a little frustration showing on the part of Von Gillen as he gets back in the sin bin. 416 remaining in the second period. Green wave. Amping up the shots on goal. Out shooting Belchertown 18 to 6 at this point. Leading the game 3 0 territorially. They've been in control the entire, entire day. Neski once again gets in tight. Referee must have lost sight of the puck. It was loose, but he blew the whistle. It's an elbowing call on Von Gillen for Belchertown. Leading scorer on the season. Coming into the game is Brian Bauman with 29 points, 13 goals, 16 assists. Puck just comes back, goes through the two Green Wave defenders. Puck moves this way. Down into Simmons. How many times today have I said that? Simmons unleashes a cannon over the crossbar. My pull turns it aside. Kineski still looking for that Hattie. It keeps up this kind of pressure. You know it's going to happen, though. Bryce Jordan back up to Haneski. Doug with a rink wide feed to Simmons. Right hold equal to the task. Simmons leading the green wave with 15 markers on the season. Reminiscent of one of those skills challenges, skills challenge goals we saw in the All Star weekend last weekend. Once again, Ethan Reipold, he has been busy today. 3.14 remaining in the second period. Green Wave in control, 3 to nothing. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. He was in the act with a great feed out to Mason Whiteman. Just puck was on edge. Couldn't quite hang it home for the fourth green wave goal. Cassie back to Mason again. Once again, the Orioles dumped the puck down. 20 seconds remaining on the green wave power play. Once again, Riley Drew holding the puck for Mikey McGoldrick. And teams are back at full strength. Sean O'Sullivan. Cody Lambert taking more of the boards than O'Sullivan on that play down behind the goal line. Puck tied up against the boards. It's a rare occurrence these days for there to be a whistle. Total stalemate on that one. Under two minutes remaining, 3 0 is the lead for the Green Wave. Brian Bauman in for the draw. Got 
got a bigger ice surface here at the Mullen Center practice rink than we do back home at the Collins Moreland and Greenfield. Doesn't seem to be adversely affecting the green wave at all this afternoon though. Alec Jordan with the clearing attempt. Right in the feet of Evan Simmons. There's brother Bryce. Takes a look. Sounded good. Not much going on there though. Cody Lambert. A wrist shot from the point. Little bit of action in front of Riley Drew. Riley equal to the task. Puck back around. It's Nate Pacheco for Belchertown. Moves it in deep. Simmons along the half wall. Had it for a moment. Just out of the reach of Doug Mineski. Dougie would have been in alone on that one. Matt Pacheco. Back up the other side. Battle of the 17s, Cam Barnes. And here comes Sean O'Sullivan. Got a good look. Going to follow that one up. Ethan LaFleur, little contact behind the cage. Barnes keeping it in at the blue line. Nice save there. And Vaughn Dillon breaks out for Belchertown. Looks like he's an army of one out there. Ooh, little deflection. Last second deflection just off the iron. Well, after two periods of play here at the Mullen Center practice rink at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. Green Wave lead the game 3-0. to zero. Shots on goal after two periods are 22-9 to nine in favor of the Green Wave. We're going to take a break right now, and we'll be back with third period action right after this on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And welcome back to Green Wave Hockey here on Frontier Community Access Television. I'm the skate doctor Lou Bordeaux at ringside for today's right division matchup between our Green Wave and the Belchertown Orioles. After two periods of play, Green Wave are ahead 3-0, three 3-0. Zero, three nothing. That second period, Green Wave just came right out of their shell. Uh, probably shook off a little bit of Wednesday night's Fitchburg rust and just dominated play. Out shooting Belcher Town in that second stanza. I'm going to call that 14 to 6. 8 to 3 after one period. Uh, many, many high percentage chances by the Green Wave out there. Just waiting for the ice to be ready here as we prepare for the third play, third period of play. Riley Drew ready to lead the Green Wave back onto the ice. Ethan Reipold ready to lead Belchertown back onto the ice. Uh, so far, so good. This has been a thorough effort by the Green Wave. Of course, led by that line of Evan Simmons, Brian Bauman, and Doug Hineski. Uh, although, going beyond that, the thing that makes this Green Wave hockey team so impressive, everybody contributes. Everybody contributes, and that that can't be said often enough. Uh, many times, 
The teams will be very one-dimensional, not this team. So the players are just back out on the ice now. They're stretching. Going to give them a couple minutes. So while they're taking a couple minutes to stretch, we're going to take a couple minutes, and we'll be back with more Green Wave hockey, the third period from the Mullen Center, right after this. Yeah, the all too familiar time to play the game. And it certainly is. Third period, Green Wave hockey. Green Wave taking it to Belchertown 3 0 so far. Out shooting them 22 to 9 along the way. Got a fresh sheet of ice. And nice. And 22 seconds into the third and final period here at the Mullen Center on the campus of the University of Massachusetts. Always fun to be here. Beautiful facility if you ever get the chance to come over. As is our very own Collins Boylan Arena in Greenfield. Which will be able to see our Green Wave in action Saturday night at 5.30 when they take on East Hampton. And a rare Monday game this coming week. Monday at 5.30 when Mount Everett comes to town. Puck deflected wide over Riley Drew. Belchertown's going to make a mark. They're going to have to do it early. Try and change the momentum in this one. Jacob Bryant taking the body. And we've got another icing call. It's two in the first minute of the play here in the third period. Once again, part of the feeling out process. It'll be interesting to see what the Evan Simmons combination has in store here. It's loosened up a little, ready to go. Brian Bauman on the draw. Doug Hineski with the puck. Banks it. Gonna be no icing on that one. Beautiful behind the back feed from Evan Simmons. Didn't quite work out that time though. Puck dumped in, a little incidental contact. Cody Lambert and Bryce Jordan behind the play. Lambert looks to go short side. This is the cage altogether. Puck in the skates comes back this way. A little physicality. Cody Lambert runs into his own man over there, Nate Pacheco. It's been that kind of day so far for Belchertown. Plays on side. Doug Hineski. Nice short side bid. Don't forget, Dougie's got two goals on the day so far. Sean O'Sullivan, plenty of open ice there. Little dipsy doodle. Cam Barnes sending the puck deep. Puck just gets behind Cassie Wozniak. Clear to the other end. Got a nice and call. 12.36 remaining in the third period. 3-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Started to mention the schedule a couple seconds ago. So we've got a rare Monday night game coming up this coming Monday, February 5th, 5.30, when Mount Everett comes to the Collins Moylan Arena. Okay, come on out and support your Green Wave. Kids from eight schools make up the program this year. Some Frontier kids from the Greenfield, Turner's Falls. Pioneer. And here come the Orioles. Temporarily a three on two. Jacob Bryant equal to the task. Strips the puck behind the goal line. Banks it off the wall. Brian again with the puck. What a season he's had for a freshman. 
been a pleasure to watch him come up through the, uh, the Franklin County Hockey Association over the years. Just a terrific athlete. And like his, like his older brother Brandon, he was a superb goalie for Turner's Falls for quite some time. Uh, Jacob definitely in that Bryant mold. Something in that DNA. Little battle behind the goal line there. Doug Mineski. The two Orioles on him. Bauman mixing it up. Mineski with the puck again. Takes a look. He's got Simmons cross ice, but Simmons got marked up there at the last minute. Puck deflects behind the cage. Back to the point. It's Alec Jordan. Backhands it in. Bryce Jordan couldn't quite get the wood on it. And it slides through. And they're going to call that one an icing. Green Wave leading this one 3-0. Currently out shooting Belcher Town 23-9. And I have to say those shots are indicative of the play. It's definitely been the ice tilted towards Belchertown goaltender Ethan Reipold today. John O'Sullivan, nice feed. Bauman with the one timer. Once again, Reipold equal to the task. Bauman in the high slot just misses the cage. Once again, if you got a good look at that, Cody Lambert, nice wrist shot from the point, but absolutely no traffic in front to aid him. Riley Drew just swallowed that one right up. Riley was the rookie of the year in the right division last year. Going Dylan on the draw for Belcher Town. Play goes around to the far side. This fielding play by Jacob Bryant there. Moves the puck into the corner. Here goes Simmons. He's all alone. Just over the top of the cage. Nice scoring bid by Evan Simmons. He's going back the other way. It's Vaughn Gillen, Belchertown's leading scorer. And suddenly the ice is opened right up. A little end-to-end -end action here. Midway through the third period. Oh, shot just goes wide off the stick of Brian Bauman. Once again, Belchertown runs into themselves. Tough day at the office for the Orioles. Attempted to hit it with a high stick, didn't even do that, so play continues. Up the far side, Vaughn Gillen. Back over to Cody Lambert. Lambert moves in deep. Alec Jordan. Went for the diving play, unfortunately. Got a stick underneath. His Belchertown rival. So he'll be sitting for a couple. Orioles going on the power play. Going to take a look at the Green Wave penalty kill here. Got some of the best four checkers out on the ice now. Jacob Bryant behind the cage. Out is picked off at the blue line and it's out of the zone. Jacob Bryan again with it and he's just gonna, oh, tried to lob it out. He's knocked down with a high stick, but Bauman got it. 
sent it down into the Belchertown zone. Minute and a half remaining on the Greenfield penalty kill. And once again, puck possession. They just lobbed it down. Mikey McGoldrick drives it deep. Bauman dishing back to Bryant, who again sends it all the way down the ice. And it's not going to be icing on that one. Referees ruled they could have played it. Quick change for Green Wave on the, on the shorthanded situation. Bauman with a little run in in front of the Green Wave bench. Belchertown takes a look. Nice little hip check. Hip check by Doug Hineski on the play. Big block out front by Jacob Bryant. A little stinger on that one. Belchertown mounting their first offensive threat of the entire day. Just as the penalty ends, we're back to full and equal strength. Riley Drew, two big saves. Puts loose out front of the cage. And it gets under on. Belchertown's on the board. Play just got in too deep there. It's a tough thing about when a penalty ends. You might say two minutes on that penalty clock, but until that player gets back into the play, it just lasts a couple seconds longer, and unfortunately, and came back to haunt the green wave. Three quick saves by Riley Drew, and we're gonna have a brief timeout here. Looks like Belchertown's taking a timeout. So while they're taking a timeout, we'll take a timeout. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Welcome back to the Mullen Center in Amherst on the campus of the University of Massachusetts. Got 6.36 remaining in the third period. Three to one to score. Green Wave are leading this hockey game. Belchertown just putting their first marker of the day on the board. And watch to see the momentum here. Evan Simmons on the blue line. Takes a shoulder from Nate Pacheco. Nate with an assist on the Belchertown Tower. Puck moves out. Suddenly there's a lot of open ice out there. Quick shot wide. And Riley Drew wisely ties that one up. Green wave changing up here. Changing up the D. Jacob Bryant, Mikey Gilbert come out now. Big save, Riley. Green wave suddenly. Suddenly they're on their heels. Orioles all over, the, all over the Green Wave defensive zone here. Yeah. 
546 remain in the third period. 3 1 Green Wave lead. Jacob Bryant. Get another one. I don't know if that one is midsection. Puck comes over the glass. Gonna have to face off back at center ice. And that territorial advantage may be helpful to the Green Wave, who have temporarily fallen short in control of the play here midway through the third period. Brian Bauman to take the draw against Vaughn Gillen of Belchertown. Wins it, drives it deep into the Belchertown zone. Evan Simmons in pursuit. Doug Hineski back after Nate Pacheco. Little contact there. Simmons back over on this side. Pacheco with the puck. Takes a look. Oh, nice deflection there. Simmons in deep and he scores! Evan Simmons! What a goal! Ian Bauman stole the puck. Quick deflection, a dish. Simmons converts. That's a big, big goal for the Green Wave. It's going to be Evan Simmons' 16th goal of the season as he chases the 100 point mark. They call that goal unassisted. They might have given one to Bauman on the play. Green Wave back to their tenacious forechecking. Yeah. One goes deep, we're going to call that icing. 429 remain in the third period. As the crazy train comes out. 4-1 lead for the Green Wave. Again, <laughs> Bauman in for the draw. Closed by Vaughn Gillen. It's kind of a stalemate off the draw. Here comes Doug Hineski, still looking for that Hattie. Belchertown penalty. This one on Cody Lambert again. This late in the contest, you can't be taking those penalties. Bauman, Simmons, and Hineski, the forward line for the Green Wave here on the power play. Little hit from behind. <laughs> Brian Bauman recalibrating up through the neutral zone. Simmons waits at the blue line. Vineski's got it. Takes a look. Dishes to o or dishes to Bauman. Excuse me. The Goldrick. Back to Jacob Bryant. Bryant reads the play. Vineski in control. Quite a battle out front in the slot. Evan Simmons, holy cow. Evan Simmons and Nathan Ayers. My goodness. Nice play by Bauman, keeping it in. Bodies all over the place. McGoldrick winds up, 
just misses the cage. Jacob Bryant. Blast is deflected. Bryant again from the point. Turned aside by Reipold. Koneski back to Bryant. Unleashes one. McGoldrick dumps it back in. Back to Mikey again. Mikey takes a look. Once again. Teams are back to five aside. Down to two minutes remaining in the third period. 4-1 in favor of the Green Wave. Jacob Bryant. Deflected at center ice by Matt Pacheco. Sean O'Sullivan. Nice play by Cassie Wozniak. You want to talk about good, good forechecking. Cassie has just been terrific today. Sometimes you don't see names on the score sheet, but that doesn't mean that these players haven't given it their all and turned into terrific effort in the, along the way. As, as they have all day, except for that brief little moment in, earlier in the third period. Green Wave dominating the territorial play. They're going to get in another change here as we approach one minute remaining in the third period. Coach Bouchard sends out the Simmons line again. There's Simmons. Oh, the puck stuck in the referee's feet. Holy cow. That's like a traffic cone out there. Anyway, it looks like just a little neutral zone. Puck time passing here as the clock winds down. We're down to 30 seconds remaining. Outcome of this one looks pretty, pretty, uh, pretty solid right now for the Green Wave. Best Cody Lambert can do is just dump it down. Drew holds it behind the cage. Cam Barnes with it. Riley turns it aside. And that's going to be it. Green Wave are playoff bound. A big 4 to 1 win here at the Mullen Center today. Green Wave are out to surround Riley Drew. Another great effort by Riley. Final score 4 to 1. Teams line up at center ice for the traditional handshake. And as the players are shaking hands, I once again tell you that the goal scorers today for the Green Wave, Brian Bauman, Doug Hineski with two, and Evan Simmons. Sweet Caroline playing in the background here at the Mullen Center as the coaches shake hands. And for the final time today, going to remind you, final score from the Mullen Center at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. Green Wave 4, Belchertown 1. Just a thorough effort by the Green Wave. And on behalf of Frontier Community Access Television, I'm the Franklin County Skate Doctor, Lou Bordeaux, thanking you for your time. We hope to see you again sometime. And don't forget, Green Wave Hockey returns to the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield Saturday night at 5.30. Battle for first place when East Hampton comes in. Thank you, and good night.